we are going to transform a black utility rolling cart. First things first, we have to put together the utility cart. And then what I did was I brought it outside and I spray painted it a gold. And that already transformed this utility cart. And then you want to make sure that you get all the little nooks and crannies. I I only needed about one coat, but I did kind of go over a few areas that weren't sprayed uh, all the way. And then you're gonna let it dry. As this was sitting drying, I realized I didn't want the middle ledge. So what I did is I decided to take off that middle shelf because I wanted to have wine bottles at the bottom and this was gonna end up too short of a space. At first I thought I was gonna lay them flat, but then I decided after I was looking at it when it was gold that I wanted them to stand up straight. So after you do that, we are going to grab some placemats that I found. And these were kind of like a woven placemat. And I folded it in half. And that just seemed to be the perfect size for this. You'll just have to measure your cart, whichever one you get. And then we're going to glue that onto each shelf so that we can disguise the mesh metal that was with the original cart. And then just grab some hot glue and secure that. And then this was a little long, so I cut that off at the end. And we're gonna keep that little piece that we cut because we're gonna use that for measurements to for some other pieces. So there's that little piece again. And then we're gonna take the other half of the mat and then cut that off. And that makes it a perfect length for that shelf. And then glue that in. And then I found these wooden rings and I thought, hey, that would look really cute to embellish it and kind of transform this so it disguises the fact of what this actually is. So I hot glued those and I use Gorilla Glue hot glue and it never fails me. It holds really strongly. And then I had some more of these little wooden rings that were almost twice the size and glued those down along the bottom. And then after you glue them down, you're gonna go around and kind of add some more glue in some areas from behind that you feel maybe you missed. And then it already looks great. Now we're gonna grab some white paint and we are going to put that on the handles at the top on both sides. And this is not what it's gonna look like at the end, that's just the beginning. And then I took some more of the placemat and I made it about an inch and a half uh, wide and put that on the middle little metal bar to camouflage that. Then there's that little piece that I cut off the end and I use that again as a perfect way to measure the width of the mat to put on the side. Then I put some glue across the top so it kind of butts right up to the other piece and then just kind of smooth that down and it almost looks seamless right there. Then you're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna glue the rest of that piece down the side and there's only a couple little areas you can attach it to. They're kind of like a thin crossbar. So you're just gonna gently put that across and then I didn't show you but afterwards I went from behind and did a little extra. Next, I love this anthropology mug right there and so I decided that's the way I'm gonna paint the little white handles. So I grabbed some little light kind of minty color and put those little splotches there. Then put some little dots of green, some big ones and some little ones. And then put that on both sides. And this is kind of where you just have some fun. Then I grabbed a flat paintbrush and painted some gold. And then I decided I wanted this to kind of blend in to the bottom. So I took the bottom piece and I just mimic the same way that I painted the handles. And then that's it. This turned out so beautiful. I cannot believe that this was literally that black, ugly utility cart. No offense to the utility cart, but this looks so good. And I could also see this not just for wine, but it could be a coffee cart. And there's so many possibilities of the way you could paint this. I could see it all in like one color tone, like blue and white. I can see it very neutrals. It's just whatever your style is. And I hope I inspired you to try this DIY for yourself. This is a great dresser, right? But what good is a dresser if you have no use for it? 
I used two of the drawers for another project and then decided to make something useful with the rest of the dresser. I removed the top drawer runner by cutting it with a handsaw. Then I knocked the side pieces out with a hammer. The dresser was old and had some missing wood, which I filled with wood putty. I sanded the entire piece with fine grit sandpaper. And I wiped everything down with a damp cloth to remove the dust. The dresser sat too low, so I wanted to add legs. Using a leg top plate, I measured and cut pieces of one by four inch pine to size. I screwed the leg top plate to the pine, making sure that it was centered. I nailed those pieces in place, then screwed in the new legs, which were purchased at Lowe's. I used early American stain for the inside back of the dresser. The outside I painted with Valspar chalk paint. I did leave some of the wood unpainted and those spots were stained. I wanted to add a shelf, so I measured the inside and cut a three quarter inch piece of plywood to size. I wanted the shelf to sit flush, so I measured and cut out the notches. Once the shelf was sanded and painted, I applied wood glue to the bottom shelf runner and set the pieces in place. One piece of plywood wouldn't fit inside, so I cut the piece into two. I nailed it in place, and then I applied wood putty to the center seam. I replaced the trim that I had cut off and then put in the lower drawer. And now I have a brand new bar, a useful piece of furniture. With a coat of wax and new knobs, this bar is ready for a party. I hope this inspires you to rethink throwing away furniture that you no longer use.